Hey everybody, John Van Dyke here for New Jersey Exposed. Today is Saturday, September 9th, 2023. Time is 1.20 p.m. Yes, Jersey time. The weather today is very, very humid. We're, it's been cloudy all day, a little breeze, but it's very humid. I'm sweating and it's not that hot out. It's only like 80 degrees outside, but uh, uncomfortable to say at least. Supposed to get some rain in a little while, so... We'll get this video done before that. All right, this is an update on a Blue Zero Hero. You know, one of those well-trained professional heroes. They're always out there. I'm telling you, people always out there risking our lives. That's right, your life, my life, everybody's life. As they protect, as he protects and serves the government. Well, a couple months ago, back in January, he was arrested. Uh, apparently, a badge bunny learned the hard way about getting involved with these psychopaths with badges. Uh, she broke up with him. She did the smart thing the first time, but then she got uh, convinced, uh, coerced into going back out. And, of course, nothing changed. She's still a violent person. And uh, she ended the uh, relationship. And, of course, this uh, thug couldn't handle it, you know, a narcissist can't handle it when they're not in control. She said, I'm, I'm done with you. I don't want no more problems with you. And, of course, how do you react? Well, like any other narcissistic psychopath uh, with a badge and a gun, especially the big ones, you know, they only, they only had to solve problems with violence. And that's what this officer did. He was arrested. He was put in jail for a couple of days, and he was out. And I just checked the other day, and he's still in prison and in jail. And I'll get to that in a little bit. Okay, so this is reported on the Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office uh, website. Uh, it's dated September 6th. It reads as follows. Former Seabright Police Officer Admits to Crimes Against Ex-Badge Bunny. And there it is right there. And of course, the link will be in the description for you. Uh, if you want to go read it yourself. A former Seabright Police Officer has admitted committing a series of crimes against an ex-Badge Bunny. Late last year into early this year, Monmouth County Prosecutor Raymond S. Santiago announced Wednesday, <coughs> appearing before Superior Court Judge Joseph Oxley, late last week, 47-year-old Eric A. Bennett pleaded guilty to third-degree computer theft, third-degree criminal mischief, fourth-degree hindering apprehension, and fourth-degree stalking. So uh, they did. A, they made a few deals here because originally, I believe he had a official misconduct charge on him and that's a big one that's a mandatory five years during his plea hearing Bennett acknowledged that between October 2022 and January 2023 he engaged in a course of conduct that would put the victim in fear to include at one point disabling security cameras on the exterior of her home and causing damage to her property by slicing slashing her tires and keying her car he further admitted to driving by her residence and threatening her with physical harm both in person and via a fake social media account. Additionally, Bennett stated that, that while he was on duty with the Seabright Police Department, he conducted unauthorized lookups of the victim and four of her associates in law enforcement database, absent any legitimate law enforcement purposes. Now, I want to say, I seem to recall on the original charges that he had a misconduct on him because I understand he took a, a tangent vehicle and <coughs> went past her house. <coughs> also using a database to uh, surveil on people she associates so he could go intimidate her. And so it looks like they dropped that official misconduct as far as the deal. So you see he's only got uh, third degree and fourth degree. So but still, nonetheless, he's got a problem on his hands. And uh, I know when he first was arrested, he was in jail for a couple of days, and he was out. I checked the uh, Monmouth County Correctional Institute's Facebook pay, uh, website for uh, inmate lookup, and he's back in jail, and I'll get to that in a little bit. Bennett was arrested without incident in late January 2023. He currently remains incarcerated at the Monmouth County Correctional Institution, Pending future court proceedings, as a result of the plea, Bennett permanently forfeited the right to hold any public office in the state of New Jersey. Sentencing in the case has been tentatively scheduled for Friday, November 3rd, at which time the state intends to recommend a sentence of five years in state prison, 
Under the terms of the plea agreement, Bennett would also have to submit the surrender of his privately owned firearms, a permanent restraining order barring him from contact with the victim, and restitution in the amount of nearly $4,800. Case being pros prosecuted by Mouth County Assistant Prosecutor Melanie Falco, blah, blah, blah. Oh, look at that. Ben is being represented by Mitchell Ansel uh, with the office in Ocean Township. For you, those who have not been listening to me as I do stories about local cops, Ansel is the go-to attorney for bad cops. So if you're a bad cop, you go to Ansel. I understand if you're a prosecutor and you uh, go into private practice, you go work for Ansel. That's the rumor I heard. So, uh, you know, Ansel's a deal maker. That's what he is. He's got connections on the inside and he makes deals. He's still in jail and it looks like he may have violated a, a restraining order because it, it's the charges that he's in jail now are two different things. I, I have a picture of the, uh, a screenshot of the page which I'll put in there, put in here, you can see it. But it looks like uh, he got out originally and then he acted up acted up again, acted stupid. It looks like he violated a restraint order and was stalking again. So this guy obviously he's got a problem. He's got a big guy problem. Low intelligence and too much testosterone and he's got issues with women. He's violent against them and uh, he doesn't uh, take rejection very well. So he's back in jail and uh, he's going to court for sentencing, and I guess he's got some other crap on him, so it uh, looks like he's not going to get out free anytime soon. So, anyway, we've got a, we got another Blue Zero hero there. It's going to court. It's sentenced, and I think he's got more charges, and uh, the way he looks, he's going to be going to jail, and uh, you know what's, uh, I guess, entertaining? is you got a Jake Pascucci who was driving drunk, killed a woman, hit her so hard, knocked her out of her shoes. And uh, jail Jakey did uh, less than a year time in jail for killing a woman as he was driving drunk. And this guy goes out and uh, slashes tires and keys the car and breaks some surveillance gear. <laughs> and he's looking at five years in a bokey. Nice to know that it's not the, the everyday Joe that is getting screwed in court. Looks like he's going to get a... Well, I don't think he's getting screwed. I just think he's uh, uh, he's getting a, a worse deal than somebody who kills somebody. So anyway, uh, well, there you have it. Badge Bunny learned the hard way. Take a look. Take note here, Badge Bunny. Stay away from them. The bigger they are, the worse they are. He's a big guy. He's a big, ugly guy with a little head, and he solves all his problems with violence. Yep, that's what she dated. And finally, I'll finish it up with this. Uh... Seabright Police, as of yesterday, still has not acknowledged the arrest of this officer, has not acknowledged uh, the charges against him, has not acknowledged that he's been in court, has not acknowledged that he's still in jail. Brett Friedman, the chief over there, is a coward. That's right, Friedman. You are a coward. Why are you covering for him? I got no respect for you. You're a coward. Either that or you're covering for a gang member. Which one is it? I think you're covering for a gang member more than anything. You don't tell the people what's going on. But that's all right. He put a, you put a, uh, a posting up the other day and you forgot to, uh, to take the comments out so that you couldn't comment. So I put my little uh, comment in there. I put the, the link to the prosecutor's uh, press release. So it's, it's out there, but very sad very sad what's going on out there very sad this is what the police law enforcement in america has come down to it's come down to violence against women sexual exploitation of children you got police chiefs that are covering up for these bad turds it's very it's very uh it's very sad it's, it's almost like you, law enforcement in new jersey anyway really needs a big overhaul there needs to be some house cleaning going on all right let me know what you think in the uh comment section the links in the description go read the whole article yourself and uh let me know what you think i'm john van dyke from new jersey exposed till next time